Fire department standpipes are crucial fire protection systems installed in buildings to provide firefighters with a readily available source of water for firefighting operations. They are typically vertical pipes that run throughout a building, allowing firefighters to connect their hoses to access water. For Class 1 standpipes that have a 2.5 inch connection, NFPA 14 requires a minimum pressure of 100 psi and a flow rate of 250 gallons per minute at the furthest outlet. This pressure is also the minimum for any outlet along the system. Either pressure reducing valves or pressure restricting devices, collectively called pressure regulating devices, are required by NFPA 14 when excess pressure is in the system. As you can see in this illustration, the fire pump is putting out a high pressure to get 100 PSI at the roof. The pressure on floor two is going to be a lot higher than 175 PSI. Every standpipe in the image depicted in red has a pressure regulating device attached to it. These devices are required and installed to combat this effect. However, the valves can be set to any number as long as it is above 100 and below 175 PSI residual pressure. The setup used for this demonstration had a residual discharge pressure of approximately 160 PSI when charged with 250 PSI at the pump discharge. This means that without the proper connections in place prior to your hose line, your residual discharge pressure, if the standpipe was completely open, would be very high, even for an inch and three-quarter hose, making your attack line difficult to advance and overpressurized. The high-rise bag that is equipped on all Miami Beach fire apparatuses carries several tools that can assist with making standpipe connections. It includes a pressure gauge and, on some trucks, a gate valve. Before connecting your pack, be sure to connect the gate valve if your apparatus has one. If you do not have a gate, the standpipe wheel can work in setting the appropriate discharge pressure, but it is not the ideal method considering how often they rust, break, or seize shut and have difficulty opening. Next, connect your pressure gauge. Then proceed to connect your gated Y, drop section, or officer's pack depending on your situation. If a valve is applied, Make sure it is shut and completely open the standpipe. Open your gated Y on the side, supplying the hose when the line is ready to be charged. Slowly open the gate while the firefighter operating the nozzle is bleeding the line. To adjust the discharge pressure accurately, it must be done quickly while flowing water to determine the appropriate residual discharge pressure at the standpipe gauge. For our current hose configuration, approximately 100 PSI will be adequate for achieving optimal gallonage at the nozzle. This pressure will charge a single high-rise pack or an extended pack with a total of 200 feet of hose. It can be slightly increased but should not pass 120 PSI on the connected pressure gauge. The standpipe operator can now rejoin the crew to carry out firefighting operations.